so right so this is, a, this is the final demonstration for river cleaning robotic vehicle so we have uh, developed and fabricated this model now in this version we added the like a uh, roller mechanism to make the faster movement as we have seen the slower movements in our previous video so now the first thing is when we are demonstrating this project we should keep this under the sky view so that's why we keep it down near the window so then only this gps light will show the status of live location then only it can provide the live location then only we should place this in auto mode otherwise don't keep this in auto mode when there is no light over here and uh, this gps and uh, interface to the raspberry pi 4 through this usb to digital converter why because uh, one hardware uart connection was connected to the arduino you know and uh, the camera will use it, uh, use it to provide the live streaming along with the like uh, image processing also so we are uh, doing the image processing purposes so we can see the live images on your mobile phone in this one so we are going to dividing the section so here we can see that the live images continuously transmitting so in this one only like 50 percent will be captured for processing so total image is sending for the user reference purpose but only 50 percent is captured and that will be processed so when there is no like movement on the water surface if there is no objects on the water surface then it just keep on slowly moving towards forward movements and if any obstacle detects it will take the right direction and it will check for uh, if there is no obstacle then it keep on moving and the next option is so we have one more sensor so here we place the right yeah so this is a sensor to detect the trash bin full so when the trash was full then we can see that the light indication over here so when the trash was full then automatically it will start moving towards the home location so how it can identify the home location means so when you keep this in auto mode before keeping that we should check the location means click on this there you get the live location right so you should check that whether the live location is correct or not after that only we should keep this in auto mode otherwise it will go to the zero zero then it's keep on moving towards the zero zero only so when you keep press this auto mode then at that location is nothing but the home location to that with the help of digital compass and the gps it keep on rotating towards the home location so once it reaches the home location it stop moving so while keeping this in auto mode uh, please secure about the boat should not uh, cross the like, border or you should check the better to tie a uh, thread to that when you are going to place in auto mode so let us see the demonstration you will explain the one more video with the connections and all how to set up everything so let us see the demonstration so let us check in manual mode initially so it's built on now see So when we place it in auto mode, let us see that. So we are stopping the belt moment. And uh, let us place this in towards the trash. So when we place in auto mode, our LC display also will display that. So let us go with auto mode. So it's working with bit slow. Response is
so it's not to the modern just it will look for the trash directly so it's keep on turning the right slowly so once you enter into the auto mode then that much easily we can't change it to the man what if any ghost truck one just we need to change the like uh, reset the arduino you know board so this is a reset switch if it is stuck over there as of now it's moving on the like auto mode only right so let us go with the manual mode again so we need to reset that for manual mode metering we can enter that but once it's a uh, scanning was got stuck then we need to check with the okay, it's manual mode Thank you. 